What's up crew? Welcome to another video. My name is John Connie aka Big Man Syndrome and uh, today is episode 23 of the 30 Day Red Deal. I am so far behind right now, it's not even funny. Today hasn't even gotten off on an, an any better of a start than yesterday. Didn't wake up early. Yesterday I woke up early, which was ridiculous, and tried to edit the vlog fast enough, but didn't. Ended up having to edit it later, and then Madison was just being like all over the place. She had to be held the entire day. Last night I had to sit in bed with her on my chest for probably, I think six hours, or no, six hours sounds ridiculous. Like four total hours probably, maybe three. And I, I would just wasn't able to do anything other than that, which kind of sucked. This morning, I haven't been able to touch the vlog for yesterday because I'm working on Maddox Method stuff, trying to get a ad together so that we can start getting the message out to the masses on Facebook. And I'm working on the ad copy, which I'm not very good at. I'm, I'm okay at writing, but I get too much in my head trying to figure out what I want to say. And I'm trying to make it perfect, which, in the ad world, you gotta be pretty perfect. You know, you can get away with, you know, fluffy content and not be perfect there. But when you're writing words that people are going to be triggered by to get, you know, them to sign up, it is a whole nother world. So I've been working on that all morning. It's 10.42 a.m. I need to leave around 11.15 at least. I also need to go in the garage before I do that to get everything together. I'm gonna be shooting three more promos for Neil as he gets ready to go down to Costa Rica for Wadfest. Uh, we're shooting one talking head for them to do a commercial, which is kind of cool. And then three promos to talk about the camp that's coming up on December 9th. So a lot of stuff that's gonna make it really, really, really difficult for me to you know, get the vlog done at a decent hour. And this is typically what happens, which I'm totally fine with. I'm totally cool, not stressing too much about the fact that my vlogs are gonna be late, uh, or the fact that I'm having inconsistencies as far as uh, quality of vlog. Like, the Christian Guzman one was really on uh, like on fire. A couple ones before that were on fire, and then it was just like, Sunday was yeah, yesterday's upload, and then today's gonna be yeah, and then maybe tomorrow will be on fire again. Gonna try to wrap up some things here. I'm trying to make a thumbnail really quick. Gonna post the video at least, and then tomorrow I'm gonna figure out how the ad is gonna be put together. And then I'm heading over to Extreme to do some shooting, so I'll just show some BTS of that right now. Test, test, test. Gonna record a sample Even though the assault bikes are going full blast Gonna wait a minute, nothing finished What's up, Bella? Shoot is done, success I'd say. Now we're gonna do some new to the crew. Crew, if I got correct math, because we had 2253, so we got four burpees. Done.
23 cleaning jerks. I'm gonna do 135 for this, but then for the workout, I'm probably gonna scale, because uh, mixing a salt bike with a cleaning jerk, it's not great. The problem that we're having is that a lot of people see the elite athletes do one and dump, but elite athletes can do one and dump 30 clean and jerks for time under two minutes. Whereas your typical average person, when they do one and dump, they're resting too long, but a, a, a two minute workout becomes an eight minute workout. So the whole purpose of what we're trying to do right now is practice cycling the barbell and learning how to develop the capacity to grip to build the forearm strength and to build the grip strength to be able to hold on and to do bigger sets. Trying to get people out of the habit of going resorting right away to one and dump. Hey, what we do? Just between me and you.
that bad boy tuck I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk Outline my lines, I rap through thought Body bag the verse, outline the chuck In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double oh. Alright, well that sucked But it was probably better than RXing uh, And it's funny because I dabbled between the idea of either doing the 115 And doing the 95 which is level 1 can you auto focus on me, buddy? But I don't even think I would have been able to do the unbroken sets of five with 115. So I'm glad I went one or went 95 because then I can get on the bike and actually still pedal, even though I was pedaling extremely slow. Good uh, point for those of you out there who think you have to RX in order to get the cool badge on the board, or just in general showing off RX. RX shouldn't be your end game. Your end game should be a time domain, which in this case I finished in. 1353. Just put it like this. I modified. Yeah, his, I want to show that you can modify a cross. You don't have to be an elite athlete. You can always have to go RX. Yeah. He's training for a different reason now. But uh training for life, not for the games. We're all supposed to be training for life. You can still be competitive. It's just a matter of knowing what your capacity is for a specific time domain. In my case, if I went RX, I probably would have finished this workout in 25 minutes. I went level one and ended up in the time domain that I should have. Uh, so, always consider modifying if you know you're not gonna be able to, like if I would have gotten off the assault bike on round three for 135, I probably would have had to do singles. Modify when you should. Money comes, money goes, but I never lose my flow. I ain't messing with these hoes, just ain't messing with my bro. Now you messing with a pro, never stressing all the dough. What's the blessing now? I know my team winning this for show. Now I know my team winning this for show. Always what it seemed. I see the murder scene and run up on a spleen. Factual, actual facts that are practical. I'm about to tear you up. Why? I'm an animal, cannibal, Hannibal Lecter. 